Hey guys, what are you looking at? You're looking at some new sights for my new, not my new gun, my old gun. But just wanted to show these off and talk about them. This is a really cheap kind of upgrade you can do for your firearm that will only cost you a couple of bucks. And what it is, right here, is just a simple glow-in-the-dark acrylic paint. And so let's hit the lights and uh, talk about it. Now this here is a, uh, we'll show you the sights before we get talking, how they look in the daytime. Really not much different, they just look like normal white sights. Maybe a little brighter when you have the lights on. But uh, I picked this up and this is a glow on, if we can focus here. Product name is glow on, it's a small little tiny vial of glow-in-the-dark paint and uh, this is actually enough to do a lot of firearms I did pretty much every uh, pistol I had and it uh, barely touched it so you could do probably an arsenal with that little bottle it cost me eight bucks through Amazon and you don't have to buy this stuff through Amazon you can buy the no-name stuff through um, any kind of craft store I think even Walmart has it you can get glow-in-the-dark uh, nail polish, there's all kinds of different glow in dark products that you can put over your sights. And these make for a really good and interesting, um, just inexpensive uh, upgrade for your firearm. Now as you can see, during normal daytime, it really doesn't make much of a difference. The, nice, the sights pretty much look the same. Maybe they're a little brighter, you know, because they're fresh paint. You know, especially you get an older gun, the sights tend to uh, wear down a little bit over time and they kind of get a little dull and it is nice to refresh them from time to time and I wanted to give this a try to see how it worked and I've been really happy so far it uh it's really bright in a dark room but uh, what really is surprising about this is how little of a charge it needs to start glowing now I charge this up with a flashlight before the video for demonstration purposes but in reality if you uh, just literally bring this into a bright room for a couple of minutes it'll actually have a pretty good glow on it which is what I found impressive because in reality what good is the sight if you have to charge it with a flashlight um, in low light rooms not pitch black it's actually very handy that very slight glow is uh, very helpful and is this a perfect solution absolutely not is it a cheap budget way to imitate the really good expensive sights for your firearm yes you know and you can be creative and, and use many different glow-in-the-dark products but this one here was like eight bucks I was doing an Amazon order anyway so I figured I'd give it a try now just to show you again it's been a couple of minutes and we've been talking just to show you that this stuff does hold its glow for quite a while we're going to show you that again as you can see it has faded some because of course the uh, charge isn't there but like I said this is the kind of charge you're get, gonna get from natural light you see it's not as bright as it was before by any means but it's still very very visible now the camera doesn't show it as well because it doesn't pick up the light as good but you can see you can definitely see the uh, the two sights Let's see if I can bring them a little closer for you and this is about what it's going to look like after being in a room just normal light is about this brightness this equivalent um, but like I said, daytime, you're not really noticing much of a difference in the daytime when you're, you know, out there shooting outside, really no difference, but it really does, uh, make quite the difference when you, uh, go from like a dark room to a, or I'm sorry, a bright room into like a, a kind of a dark room with no lights on. These things just really light up. Really neat, really helpful. And I just wanted to share because I just think it's a cool, you know, eight hour upgrade for the people who can't afford the really nice sights and it's simple you just apply it with like a toothpick or uh, even like a little bit of a q-tip or whatever and you know and if you don't like it you can uh, actually scrape it off real easy um, a real nice handy thing if you're going to be doing this kind of thing actually is to have a uh, dental pick handy and you can pick these up a lot of gun shops carry these and they're like maybe you get them for like two for three dollars so they're normally like a buck fifty you can actually use these to scrape out the old paint 
or if you don't like what you did or you did too much, you can use this to scrape up the dry paint. So it's a really handy tool to have when you're messing around with your site. And like I said, if you don't like it, let it dry, scrape it out, try something different. Hope you guys enjoyed.